This video is a warning for anybody that uses PHP, in particular on Linux. A researcher recently found a 24-year-old bug hiding in glibc that may affect every PHP application in existence. In this video, we're gonna talk about the nature of the bug, what you can do right now if you're using PHP, and what this kind of bug means for future web code. Also, if you're new here, hi, my name is Oliver Learning. I make videos about cybersecurity and programming topics. If you like that or just wanna hang out with me, hit that sub button, I really appreciate it. What sparked this entire conversation was a recent disclosure of a 24-year-old bug hiding in glibc. glibc being the GNU library for C, that basically lives on every Linux distribution. It's a bug in versions that are older than 239, so basically every version that exists right now, and it's in the ICOM function. If you don't know what ICOM is, ICOM is internationalization conversion. Basically, it's a function in the library that allows you to convert between different character sets, right? So for example, you have traditional data in glibc, it's in either UTF-8 or UTF-16, which is the English character set in either eight or 16-bit encodings. What ICOMP does is allows you to take the UTF-8 encoding and translate it into other encoding sets for different languages that have different character sets, like maybe Chinese or Arabic or Japanese or Korean, those kinds of things. Now, the bug is, in particular, the ICOM function in the GNUC library may overflow the output buffer passed to it by up to four bytes when converting strings to the ISO 2022 Chinese extension character set, which may be used to crash an application or overwrite a neighboring value. So what this is, is you know the traditional buffer overflow where because of the way that data is expanded when going to this Chinese character set, it allows a remote user to expand a buffer outside of its bounds by up to four bytes. And if you're not where a four byte buffer overflow is definitely enough to take control of heap metadata and use that to give a hacker remote access. Now, in particular, in the Chinese character set, again, I, I don't speak Chinese, but I'm making a general assumption about how the language works. Um, when you want to change between different kinds of character sets, you use these escape sequences to tell the processor for the language to change into a particular kind of character set. Now, what this bug is, is when you use these escape sequences to change in and out of character sets, something about the logic is flawed where you're allowed to write three to four bytes outside of the buffer. So this is a pretty standard case of logic errors in memory management that allow you to create a buffer overflow. Very common stuff for languages like C. But you're probably asking, this is a bug in C, not necessarily a bug in PHP, so how? why does this matter for PHP? Well, unfortunately, we don't know the details of how this is going to play out, but enter Charles Fall, who I believe is a French researcher who has a talk at upcoming Offensive Con in May, and this is the nature of the talk. ICOMV set the care set to RCE, exploiting glibc to hack the PHP engine. And this is his abstract of it. A few months ago, as we're talking about, he stumbled upon a 24-year-old buffer overflow that is rarely exploitable. However, on PHP, it led to amazing results. A new exploitation technique that affects the entire PHP ecosystem and the compromise of several applications. So it's important to remember that when you're coding in a language like PHP, an interpreted web language, at the end of the day, the code is running in a binary. That binary has to read the user data, it has to read the PHP code, and it processes it in a systems level language that could have memory corruption vulnerabilities. So while the PHP code is not necessarily a place where you can do buffer overflows, if the memory is mismanaged within PHP itself, you could exploit a remote server. So the details of how this bug works have not come out yet. The talk is actually May 10th to 11th. But what he's implying here, I believe, based on the title of the talk and the patches that have come out for PHP, there is a way in PHP to specify via HTTP headers the character set of the session that you're talking. If you're able to change the character set from UTF-8 encoding to this Chinese extension character set, the ISO 2022 Chinese extension, and using these escape characters, you're able to overflow the memory of the PHP runtime and a potentially exploit glibc inside of your PHP installation. Truly an amazing bug if this is able to happen, and I think it's pretty scary because this CVE got rated an 8.8, .8, which is not great, obviously, it's fairly high, but it's not a 10 out of 10. I think this bug didn't get a 10 out of 10 because it in of itself is not remotely exploitable. This this code does not attach to a socket. You can't just go and exploit every libc that exists. But 
When you attach a library like this that has a vulnerability that processes text to a PHP instance that is literally processing data in and out from a user, you get a really interesting case where you tie a lower scale vulnerability to another lower scale vulnerability and together they make a 10 out of 10, I would argue, vulnerability. So what can you do right now if you're using PHP and maybe even have this Chinese character set installed? Well, there's a few things that you can do. Uh, first, you can patch glibc. This bug does go away in glibc 240. So if you can update your version of glibc, this icon buffer overflow will go away and not leave you potentially vulnerable to the attack that will be disclosed in May uh, of this year. Stay on top of updates from PHP. They'll be giving out more information about this bug as more details come out. And three, make sure you're watching your networks, right? If you see unusual traffic, if you see people going in and out of your network that normally don't, IP addresses, kinds of traffic, etc., cetera, um, I would keep on high alert until you figure out if you're patched or not. And the question we're all waiting for the answer to, would Rust have fixed a bug like this? The answer is kind of. I don't think this kind of bug would have been caught in compile time checking, like the borrow checker or bounds checking uh, that the Rust compiler does do at compile time, but at runtime, by accessing outside of the bounds of an array, Rust would have gracefully killed the process as to make it not exploitable. So this bug would have been just a DOS condition or a denial of service condition that would allow us to crash a server as opposed to what could be an entire compromise by hackers. So would Rust have fixed this bug? A little bit, not completely, a little bit. So that's it for now, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Now, while you're waiting for the next video to come out, go check out this one. I think you'll like it. We'll see you later.